Radio to Curtis here for the review of Manchester United defeating Tottenham 1 0. Captain lads, good win, good solid performance. The Premier League's back. I'm excited and I apologise uh, firstly that this review is a little bit late. I did one straight after the game, couldn't upload it to YouTube, just was not working for me. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to scrap that, I'm going to make another review. It's been a while since the actual game, so I apologise this is a little bit late. And we got a little bit different uh, scenery here, so you can watch me. But all in all, lads, United, we're back in action. Louis Van Gaal before the game was optimistic about the season. I was too... Now, the game in itself, it was, in my opinion, just a little bit of a letdown. It wasn't the best of games that we've ever seen. Uh, but in all in all, lads, I will take it every day of the week. First game, everyone's rusty. You know, three points coming in with us. I'm happy with that. The performance, on the other hand, wasn't the greatest. But I'm not going to be too critical. Like I said, everyone's rusty. First game back from pre-season. Anyways, Tottenham, they're not easy as well. And they had a fair crack as well. They had some chances. Uh, easily could have been said that they could have taken uh, all three points as well if things had went their way. You could argue both cases. But all in all, lads, just want to talk about a team a little bit today. So we lined up today um, with Sergio Romero in goal. Now, David De Gea looks to be like he's off to Madrid already. Not in the but in the stands, he'll sit next to v Victor Valdez. And uh, Linda, uh, Lindegaard, you know, that was really, really strange seeing that. But anyways, all in all, um, Sergio Romero, he looked a bit rusty in the first half. There was a few passes just, oh, mate, they just went wayward. I don't know, and I was thinking to myself in the first half, oh, God, what do we have here? Jeez. But in the second half, my God, what a shot stopper he is. You can see why Louis Van Gaal brought him in. He seems to be awesome at the back. I just don't think... Um, the ball at his feet is quite good, but you can see when it comes to with his, using his hands, he's half decent. Anyways, that right back, uh, Damian, I thought he was really, really good. I, he Probably out of all the debuts, he probably uh, impressed me the most. Um, you know, he, he, he was never out of position in the whole 90 minutes. You know, he got forward a little bit, didn't create too many options, but he's a right back. But like I said, never out of position, defensively sound, unbelievable. So the half, lads, we had Daily Blin and uh, Smalling, Chris Smalling, Mike Smalling. <laughs> Chris Smalling, man of the match. Now, if we don't get another centre half, Chris Smalling has to be our number one centre half. Mate, you can see him at the back, he's under control, had an unbelievable game. And in my opinion, better than Phil Jones, better than uh, Marcus Rojo, better than any other centre half we've got. We've got to be starting Chris Smalling. It would be sound if we could get a defender alongside Chris Smalling before the window shuts, but I don't know what's going to happen there. Louis Van Gaal saying that he doesn't want another centre half, but looking at Daily Blind, he's not a centre half. And looking at this game, we need another centre half. Daily Blind, yeah, he's okay at the back, you know, but he got caught out defensively a, a few times in that game. And not just that, Louis Van Gaal puts him there so he can play the ball out because he's got good passing. But against Tottenham, he must have gave the ball away about five times, which is very, very unlike Daily Blind. So um, definitely gets another centre half. Left back, Luke Shaw, he had an okay game. In the middle of the park, lads, we had Schneiderlin and Michael Carrick. Michael Carrick, for me, pff, unbelievable. This guy does not look to be slowing down. For me, Still our best midfielder at the club. Between him and Ander Herrera, Herrera was on the bench today, which is a di bit disappointing for me. We had Schneiderlin starting, another debut. I think we had five guys that debuted for us in this game. But um, Schneiderlin was solid. Uh, you can tell he's that type of player to get stuck in. Always, whenever there's a tackle, you always see him around there winning the ball back or making, uh, making a fool of somebody. But anyways, we had Memphis Depay. Uh, right behind Wayne Rooney. Now, Memphis started off okay, but as the game worn on, he went a little bit quiet. And I think my personal opinion about Memphis is that he, I wouldn't say struggled, but I think the Premier League took him by surprise by how quick it actually was. And you can see, as the game at the start, he was up for it. He was, you know, you can see he had all his energy and doing all these tricks and step overs and all that, but as the game worn on, he worn off as well and got substituted. But in saying that, lads, on the right-hand side, we had one matter. One matter is one matter. I thought he was amazing uh, today. Probably one of our best forwards, uh, you, you know, creating chances with... Uh, he had a shot that just went wide. 
Uh, could have been a, if that was on goal, could have a troubled uh, Vaughn. But in saying that, lads, on the left-hand side, we had Ashley Young just on a three-year deal. He was solid. Louis Van Hel loves Ashley Young for some reason. And to be fair, Ashley Young had a solid game. And we had Wayne Rooney up front. Wayne Rooney hasn't played up front for us in years. And you can see that was a little bit rusty because that one chance he had with um, Kyle Walker coming behind him, he should have took it first time. I know, I don't know why he didn't hit it first time. You guys don't know why. Everyone's like, hit it first time. Kyle Walker's coming back. Kyle Walker stuck a leg out. Did really well, Kyle Walker. He was just terribly unlucky that it ended up in the back of the net. 1-0. And, and to be fair to Tottenham, they had a few chances themselves. Uh, out chip with Ericsson, that should have went in. But other than that, yeah, first game of the preseason, everybody was rusty. I like the way we played. We, we Probably the first... 15 minutes of both halves, uh, you have to say that Tottenham uh, bossed the game, but as the game or as the halves wore on, we dominated and dominated and dominated. But you can see this Louis van Gaal philosophy is just a pass, keep possession, keep possession, keep possession. It's not really about creating chances, and uh, I don't know if I like that too much. Like, it's not like, I'm not going to say we're playing the Barcelona style away, but we just seem to be passing and passing, keeping the ball off Tottenham. And I think we had, like, I, I, I could be wrong here, but I think we had, like, you know, two shots on target the whole game. Something ridiculous like that. Could be wrong. Get your comments down below. But in saying that, lads, we had Valencia come off the bench. He's reliable always at right back. You can see Damian's not uh, match fit there. And then we had Schweinsteiger made his debut there. Comes on the pitch, gets a yellow card. You can see what he's all about. He looks to be unreal. Looks to be that boss. You can see pointing at everyone, yelling at everyone to get in position. He is a born leader, Bastian Schweinsteiger. And then we also had Ander Herrera come on. I think somehow we need to get Ander Herrera starting in our, sorry, he should be starting in our starting 11. He needs to be, you can see when he comes on, he's got that creativity and now to create and make chances. And that's what we need. That's what we lack in this midfield, in my opinion. Can you imagine if we had like Schweinsteiger, Carrick and Herrera in the middle of the park? We'd probably have to sacrifice some wing up. But for me, take Ashley Young out, bring Herrera in. You know, you could put Memphis wide, in my opinion, play Matter in behind Rooney. You could create something. You could surely do something. We just need Andrew Herrera in the middle of the park. But anyways, lads, I was happy with the performance. Not the greatest of performances, but we got three points. That's the main thing. Aston Villa, Friday night. So that's coming up really, really soon. But anyways, lads, that's it for this review. Get your comments down below. Who was man of the match? My opinion, Chris Smalling, man of the match. But anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care, and I'll see you for the Aston Villa review.